Hey, hey, it's Dana, the Gypsy Psychic. Are you ready for another message? Come on in and get comfortable. Put your feet up, get your blanket, a pillow, something to eat, something to drink, something to smoke. Throw it up on the big screen if you want to. Put in the earbuds, kick back, and relax because we're going to unpack some psychic messages. Hey, hey, you guys, how's it rolling? If you're new to the channel, welcome. Come on in. Let's talk about some things. It's going to work the way that it always works. I'm going to shuffle and pray. I'm going to lay out a whole bunch of cards. I will thoroughly confuse you for a good solid minute while I sew together a story. If you're coming back to the channel, come on in. You know exactly what to expect. Snuggle up to this table right here and let's talk about some things. As always, it's about you because of you and wouldn't be without you. Everybody subscribe because it makes me happy and it helps me to keep motivated to do YouTube videos. There is a super thanks button that you can smash anytime you want to. I also offer a channel membership that you can subscribe to and get all kinds of cool extra things. The link is in the description box below this video. And if you hang around to the end of the video, I will tell you all about my book, The Ultimate Step-by-Step -step Guide to Your Spiritual Awakening. Hey Taurus, how's it rolling? How's it rolling, Taurus? All right, you guys. All right, it's been a busy week. You guys are enjoying those Diddy videos? Yeah, some of y'all are anyway. Some of y'all, like I said in the video, don't give a flying flip. But nevertheless, a lot of you seem to, so uh, I'm glad that I could deliver that for you. I did Justin Bieber as well, and of course Kamala and Trump, but you know, I mean, that's not my political anything at all, so just just so y'all know, I don't like either one of those choices personally. So, anywho, um, I am about to release um, LeMay as well. Michelle LeMay. I am about to put her video out. And uh, hopefully y'all will enjoy that one as well. So, let's do it. Let's just throw these cards and see what they have to say, yeah? Alright, you get ready? Everybody ready? Let's do it. Spirit. Source, universal energy. I have the collective of Taurus with me. And they want to know what you know. Ooh, Ace of Wands. They want to know what you know. What do you know about the Taurus? And what do they need to know and understand about themselves, their lives, and their futures? Spirit, what's coming towards Taurus? What do they need to look out for? What do they need to look forward to? And most importantly, how do they navigate everything for their very best and highest good. Please tell me where that stopping point is for this particular Taurus. I will cut three times and I'll pull straight from the top. Spirit, where shall I stop? Please give me the eyes to see it, the ears to hear it. <laughs> Taurus, that feels good right there. All right, let's do it, you guys. Let's go. One, two, three. Three, one, two, three, drum roll, please. Bottom of the deck, the five of wands in reverse to the two of pentacles, the ten of swords, the fool in reverse, the ten of wands, and the ten of pentacles to the three of wands. Wow. We'll take that six of cups, the high priestess in reverse, and the ten of cups as well. That'll make hella sense to you in a minute. Makes hella sense to me right now. Look at that right out the box is the star. The path, the purpose, the renewal. Ooh, we to the two of cups right out the box. Four of wands in reverse, a little bit of upset. Five of cups, a little grief. The Three of Cups, reuniting, renewing, meeting people, going to some kind of an event. The World in Reverse, stuck, stuck on repeat. The Tower, some kind of implosion. Strength in the center of the reading to the Seven of Pentacles, reflection, assessment, and the Nine of Cups. Fantastic. Wishes fulfilled. Comfort, happiness, satisfaction. The Nine of Wands in Reverse, Overwhelmed, Giving Up, The Eight of Pentacles, Working, Engaging, Building, The Seven of Cups, Options, Choices, Decisions, The Hermit, Soul Searching, and The Nine of Pentacles. The Queen of Swords in Reverse, The Wheel in Reverse, The Prince of Cups in Reverse, 
and the chariot. Let's see what else is coming here. Make sure we're not missing anything real important. We'll take those cards as well and the Princess of Pentacles. Of course, we'll take Death in Reverse and the King of Swords. And look at that, the Six of Wands and the King of Pentacles and Judgment. Wow, the Moon, fantastic. I can't stop on a Major Arcana, right? The Moon and then we got the Ace of Swords. Fabulous. What else? Ooh, the King of Wands and the Alchemist. Heck yeah. All right, we will stop with the Magician. Star. It's so the first card out. It's Major Arcana speaking to you, setting the tone for the whole reading. The star is about your path, your purpose, the renewal of your life, the direction that you're supposed to be going in. And the Three of Wands comes on top of it and says, prepare, get ready, prepare. So this whole reading is going to be about universal order trying to prepare you for the next phase of your life. They're giving you a gigantic heads up here about what's coming in your future. The Two of Cups, what's coming in your future? Some kind of significant relationship. I do believe, based on the whole rest of this reading, that this is some kind of money or work-related relationship that is trying to, about to, enter into your life. The Fool. And this relationship is the catalyst that's going to take you on your next adventure. This relationship that is about to be presented to you needs you to not require an agenda, okay? The fool doesn't have an agenda. He doesn't know the who, what, where, when, why, or how of anything. All he knows is he feels it in his soul. He feels it in his soul and he feels compelled to go in that direction because he's in touch, Major Arcana. He's in touch with universal order and he doesn't question and he doesn't argue. He's like, oh, you feel, I feel moved to go this way. You want me to go this way? Is this door opening for me? Ah, yeah, that feels right. That feels good. He closes his eyes. He steps off the cliff and he knows that wherever source is trying to lead him is where he needs to go. This relationship that is about to form in your life is necessary for the next leg of your journey. Don't question it. Feel your way through it. Don't be entering into willy-nilly all kinds of weird stuff, right? Feel it. Feel it. And if your soul tells you that this is it, then this is it. The Two of Swords, this relationship, this next adventure of your life, the next leg of your journey is going to get you unstuck from where you're stuck. Two of Swords, right? You only have two choices in a two and swords being mind energy. You only have two choices. You will either think in a different way or you won't. If you think in a different way, if you feel the fool energy when this relationship emerges in your life, it's going to take you to your path and your purpose. Three of Wands, they need you to get ready. They need you to prepare. It's coming. It's on the horizon. It's coming. What's this relationship about? Well, the Four of Wands in reverse, some kind of upset in your sense of well-being, some kind of upset in your home, your family, your, 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 your living space. The Five of Cups, regret, loss, despair, okay? So there's some, tor there is a Taurus out there that that is in a state of despair because something in their foundational network is not working out for them. The Three of Swords, the grief, the sorrow, the pain, this is a Taurus that is in a situation that is not working out. To the Ten of Wands in reverse. Taurus has been carrying this burden for a long time, and this burden is about to be lifted from your shoulders. The Three of Cups. Three of Cups, right? This is joy, celebration. It's emotion energy because it's cups. Cups is water, right? It's celebration. It's coming together and meeting with people of like-minded values. This is your tribe. Okay, this new relationship, this new phase, this new chapter of your life is going to put you in the middle of your people somehow, some way. And look, 
It's clarified by the Eight of Pentacles. Work. Working, engaging, building. This opportunity that is coming to this particular Taurus is all about finding the tribe that is going to escalate what it is that you have been working on. This tribe, these people that you're meeting, they are going to inspire you somehow to build bigger, better, and stronger in your life. The world in reverse. World in reverse, Major Arcana, speaking to you right beneath that star card, is talking about your resistance to engage. Okay, the world in the upright is the closure of a cycle and the beginning of a new cycle. And that's what's trying to happen here in your life. The, the universal order movement is trying to close out a long-standing cycle of your life that is filled with some kind of despair. They're trying to close that out. Look, the hangman, but you just keep hanging there. Uh-huh. They need you to take a step back, reevaluate your life, your situations, your circumstances, your feelings, your ideas about things, and cut yourself loose from the tree with a new perspective so the world card can flip in the upright and all of this can take place in your life. To the nine of wands, resilience, persistence, they need you to keep fighting because remember there's a Taurus up here that is filled with some kind of despair. They need you to fight the good fight. Resilience, persistence, resiliently and persistently pay attention to what's going on inside of you and around you because they are going to lead you to exactly where you need to be. The tower, implosion, perhaps um, a culminative, a cumulative tower. Perhaps tower after tower after tower because maybe this particular Taurus has been trying to build on their basic human understanding of life. Choosing of their own free will, of their human understanding, how it is they want their life to be. Deciding of their own free will that this is what my life will be. Mm -hmm. When the tower happens, it's our indication that we are supposed to step back and say, Woo! This isn't where I'm supposed to be. But this particular Taurus just keeps bulldozing the rubble back up, burying it in the ground, and pouring, pouring foundation on top of it again. And again, and again, and again. So whatever this particular Taurus is doing is not working. And they need you to, to understand that. They need you to understand that you don't necessarily know what's best for you. With your limited boxed-in human understanding, you will have limited boxed-in experience in this journey of your soul's existence. The most important thing to know as a human being is the magician right here. The major arcana are our guide stones for living a productive and successful soul journey on this planet. You are an ancient, eternal soul. You have always been. You were here before you took your first breath. You will be here when you take your last breath. And that same soul lives inside of you right now. It's trying to lead you and guide you and show you the very best way to live your life in this human experience, to do what you came here to do. But this particular Taurus insists upon doing it their way. And they're very much trying to tell you, if you will take a step back and realize that your way is not the best way, feel yourself, listen to the internal workings inside of you, and follow where it's leading you to go, your life is going to take a complete and total sharp right turn into your destiny. The Tower, Implosions. Things not working. The tower is these five, four cards right here. That's the tower in your life over and over and over again. This tower somehow causes you not to be able to grow the kind of prosperity that you want to grow in your life because you're sowing the seeds of your life on barren ground. Barren ground, the basic human understanding of life is, is black and white. 
and the soul's understanding, the spiritual understanding of life is filled with color. You keep trying to plant your seeds on the same old ground over and over and over again and nothing is growing. To the nine of swords in reverse, anxiety, despair, painful lesson after painful lesson because we have a stubborn ass Taurus right here that is refusing to do something a different way. To the tower again and the six of wands in reverse. Taurus, whoever this is for, and if we were doing your cards, we would be able to dive into the nitty gritty details of all of this. This particular Taurus is experiencing or has been experiencing for a good long minute, a complete and total lack of success. They're at a crossroads in their life. They don't know what to do. They don't know how to make things better. So they just bulldoze the rubble and build right back on top of it. I get a strong, strong feeling here that this is a Taurus that is refusing to give up on the idea of what they think their life should be. And they keep banging their head against a brick wall because they're off course. They're, they're off course. Strength in the center of your reading. This is being strong, overcoming, having the courage to overcome, having the strength and the courage, the magician, to mind your mind. The magician is the most important lesson that everyone needs to understand. It's here twice in your reading. It's down here and it's up here. The magician is about manifestation. Your internal self-narrative creates your reality. Mm -hmm. It does. It's the first thing that the magician understands is what his mind thinks about comes about in his life. And he controls his mind. The second thing that the magician understands is that he has to have control of his emotions. He has to have control of his desires, his flesh nature, his human nature. A regular old, plain old, empty human can't really manifest. They have to have control of their human nature. They have to have control of their insecurities and their sense of well-being. And they have to focus everything on what it is that they want their life to be. Manifestation is like going to the grocery store. You're at home. You're making a batch of cookies, okay? making a batch of cookies. You get all into it and you're making it from scratch, right? You're making it, you're making it, and then you realize, oh my gosh, I ate those chocolate chips the other night. I don't have any chocolate chips. So you take off your little apron and you wash your hands and you grab your keys and your wallet and you get in the car, you buzz to the grocery store, you go straight to the chocolate chips, you get them, you check out, you go home, and you make your cookies. It's the exact same concept. Manifestation is the exact same concept. Your mind was focused on nothing but those chocolate chips from the moment you realized you didn't have them to the moment you got home and put them in your cookies. Your mind was sharply focused on getting those chocolate chips right? Your inspiration, the fire aspect of yourself drove you to the grocery store because you wanted it, right? You wanted those chocolate chips. Your emotions were completely invested because you had your heart set on chocolate chip cookies, right? And your sense of well-being was all consumed by it because you wanted those chocolate chip cookies, Manifestation is the exact same way. Set your mind on what it is that you want. Bring in all the other elements, your mind, your emotions, your sense of well-being and your desires, all of it, heart center and laser beam it towards what it is that you want. People have a hard time manifesting because A, they don't know what they want right? Now, if you were making cookies, right, and you decided at the very end that you wanted to add chocolate chips, you would half-ass go to the grocery store, and then you would stand there and think about, well, do I want dark chocolate? Do I want toffee chips? Maybe, maybe toffee chips. Do I want milk chocolate? Do I want name brand? Do I want store brand? And you'd be there for a minute trying to decide what it is that you want, right? 
that's that clouds the manifestation manifestation remember is going there going straight to the aisle straight to the bag of chips that you want and grabbing it okay they need you to have the strength and the courage to manifest your new reality they need your cooperation because remember universal order cannot and will not go against your free will and until you can tell the universe exactly how it is that you want your life to be, you're wandering in the grocery store aisle. This is okay, and this will be good, and that'll be all right, and this is okay, and this is better than that. No. What do you want? This particular Taurus is hung up in tower after tower after tower because they're trying to create in their life their ideology of what they want but they're not focusing on what they're supposed to be doing, where they're supposed to be going, and how it is they need to act to get it to come into their life. This is a willy-nilly Taurus. To the Eight of Wands, movement, action, change. Your strength, your courage to focus on those chocolate chips is going to change the whole trajectory of your life. The whole trajectory of your life. The Seven of Pentacles, right? Take a step back and reevaluate how it is you're going about doing things in your life. Take a step back and reevaluate the Two of Wands, how you want your future to look, how you want your life to look. The Nine of Cups, because the universe wants to deliver to you wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, satisfaction. They know in this magician card, okay, they know in this magician card what it is you truly, truly want. But the tower keeps happening over and over and over again because you don't know what you truly want. Mm -hmm. They need you to take a step back and, and ask yourself, what do you want your future to look like? Because they want to deliver everything that you want. Wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, satisfaction. They want that for you because there is no better tool to get done what your soul came here to do than a complacent and happy human being. To the high priestess. They're talking to you. The high priestess and the hermit, no less. They're talking to you. They are. They're trying to lead you and show you and guide you in the best course of action for your whole life. There is a whole background situation that is being set up specifically for you to usher into your life exactly what it is that you want your life to be. But you have to participate. You have to tell the universe what you want your life to be. The High Priestess is your ancient self. It's lesson two. You got lesson one in the center of your reading. What you think about comes about. Lesson two is the High Priestess. This is your higher self. That same ancient soul that has been here over and over and over again with you, wanting so badly for you to acknowledge it and follow where it leads you because it knows how to get you through this crazy thing called life successfully. Your higher self, your true north, trying to guide you to exactly where you need to be. And the hermit comes on top of her and talks about soul searching and introspection, deep soul searching and introspection. This particular Taurus is finding themselves in a cold, dark place. They don't know where to go. They don't know how to get what it is that they want to get going on in their life. And they just keep doing the same thing over and over and over again. And the hermit says, I will show you. I will lead you. I will guide you. Have a sit down, an out loud crazy person sit down with your higher power and really, really feel what it is that they're trying to tell you because they are trying, desperately trying to communicate with you, but you're not listening. You're not listening because you're overwhelmed with a sense of a lack of success. You're overwhelmed with despair or regret. 
And they're like, man, we're trying to show you the path to happiness, success, vitality. We're trying to show you peace, wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, satisfaction. We're trying to lead you to your tribe that is going to inspire you to build great things. We need you to step into the energy of the fool so we can lead you to your path and your purpose. Sit with me. Sit with us, the high priestess and the hermit. Sit with us and we will illuminate for you the next step. We will give you the staff that will give you stability to go in the direction that you need to go in your life. Nine of wands in reverse. Nine of wands in reverse. I'm going to scooch all these up. Nine of Wands in reverse right here. This is someone who is overwhelmed. Overwhelmed with life. Overwhelmed with bad choices. Overwhelmed with this tower after tower after tower. This is someone who has a defeatist mentality. It's hard. It's too hard. I don't know what to do. I've been doing everything that I know how to do. And nothing is working. That's because you're doing it from your silly human perspective and you're not taking into consideration the grand scheme of things, the eternal, endless journey of your soul. They don't want you to keep coming back here and doing this over and over and over again the human way. They need you to tap in to your higher self so it can lead you and guide you out of the constant reincarnation. So the seven of swords in reverse. Break free from a futile mentality. Break free from trying to do it the way that you insist that it needs to be done. Take a step back and see a different perspective. Because whoever this is for, whatever they're trying to do in their life, they need a new perspective because it ain't working for you. The Eight of Pentacles, just like this Eight of Pentacles, working, engaging, building, compounding, creating your future, creating your business, creating a company, creating the life that you want. The Eight of Pentacles is clarified by the Queen of Wands. Success, vision, motivation, inspiration, aspiration, attainment, getting what it is that you want. The eight is about movement, action, and change. Just like it's set up here, movement, action, and change in your sense of well-being is coming from teamwork and collaboration with a tribe that you have yet to meet. Your success, the success that you are after is not in the foundation of that tower. The success that you're after is in the foundation of your soul. Seven of Cups. Confusion, options, choices, decisions. Look, the Knight of Swords. Communication. The world that flips this card in the upright gives you an opportunity. Look, Page of Cups, Page of Pentacles, gives you an opportunity to close down the old cycle and step into a new cycle. But this particular Taurus is so hooked on the way that they think things should be in their life that they're going to have a look, Seven of Cups, right? They're not going to be able to see the forest through the trees. This opportunity isn't necessarily something that the Taurus would consider doing in and of themselves because they have an idea of the way that things are supposed to go. To the Hermit, again, when this happens, when this communication comes in with a new opportunity for you to do something in a different way with collaboration from other people, you need to go into the hermit energy. You need to do some soul searching and some introspection instead of immediately resorting to your basic, limited, quite frankly, ignorant human understanding of things. We will show you. We will guide you. If you will ask us when this goes on, we will show you the path. We will illuminate for you what this is about. But this is a particular, this is a Taurus right here that if you didn't have this reading, 
you would just bulldoze right over this whole opportunity and say, no, I got this by myself. I don't want a partner in my business. I want it all. I don't want to share any aspect of my success. I want it all. The universe is bringing you a tribe of people that are going to perpetuate your success. But this Taurus doesn't want to share. Nine of Pentacles. Independent, self-sufficient, got it, doing it myself. Hyper-independence is a symptom of a childhood wounding. Hyper-independence is a symptom of someone who did not feel loved as a child. Just saying. Taurus, right? Standing in the Nine of Pentacles. I can do this all by myself. I don't need anyone or anything. I'm going to make this work if it kills me. Page of Wands in reverse. And this is your lack of interest in the opportunity. Queen of Swords in reverse. This is the Taurus not opening their mind. This is a Taurus that is dead set on doing it their way. To the wheel in reverse and as long as you're that way the universe cannot divinely orchestrate the steps of your life they cannot this is all hanging out there ready to come together for you but if you insist if you insist on not participating then so be it then so be it i think i used the bus analogy one time in a reading it's like standing on the corner waiting for a bus you're waiting for a bus to take you to the next leg of your journey. And there's a bus that keeps coming by that says destiny. There's a big sign in the window that says destiny. And it, and it stops at your stop and you don't get on because it, it's not what you think it should be. It's not taking you where you think you should go. You're waiting for a bus that says taking you to uh, Maple Street. But the bus keeps coming by, destiny in the windshield, and it stops, and it opens its door, and Taurus just stands there because it doesn't look like the bus that they think it should look like. And it closes the door, and it goes around its route, and it comes back again. There's Taurus still standing there, destiny in the windshield. It opens the door, and Taurus does not get on. And it closes the door and does its route again, over and over and over again, because Taurus is expecting something that in their ideology is not the destiny bus. Wheel of Fortune, we can't help you until you want to participate. We cannot help you until you surrender to universal order. You will keep doing it the way that you have always done it until you surrender to a, something that is bigger, stronger, and better than you are. Prince of Cups in reverse, and you'll continue to be disappointed. You'll continue to be disappointed about your life, the choices that you've made, tower after tower after tower, and that's okay. That's okay. It's not a heaven or hell thing. It's all right. Universe really doesn't care. There is no big, warm, fuzzy guy in the sky that cares about your existence. I'm sorry to tell you that. There is not. Universal order just keeps moving with or without you. And the second that you attune yourself to it is the second that it aligns with you. Mm -hmm. To the chariot. Hop in. Let's go. Get on the bus. Get on the damn bus, Taurus. Put in the self-control. What's the self-control? It's the fire energy. Controlling your human nature. Put in the self-control, the willpower, the willpower to do what? To understand that your way is not working and there is a better way. Determination. Determination to do what? To give the universe an opportunity to show you that there is a better way than what you think is the best way. Self-control, willpower, and determination move the chariot. They will escort you to where you need to go. To the sun in reverse, but you're not seeing clearly. Why aren't you seeing clearly? Nine of swords in reverse, because you're so consumed about the anxiety of failure. You're so consumed about the anxiety of doing it your way and it not working that you can't see the forest through the trees. The hangman, again, second time. 
Stop hanging here. Cut yourself loose from the tree with, guess what? A new perspective. The King of Cups in reverse. Your emotional volatility. The Queen of Wands in reverse about a lack of success. That's your human result. Queen of Pentacles to the Princess of Pentacles to death in reverse. This is universal order. This is where you're supposed to be. You're supposed to be in a position where you're good in the bank account. You're good in the gas. You're good in the bills. You have enough, more than enough. You're overflowing in abundance. That's the kind of life that we should be living. But we have all of these silly ideas about how it is that we're going to get it without ever just stepping back and paying attention to the signs and the synchronicities around us, the feelings, the motivations, the compulsion that we have inside of us. Princess of Pentacles, there's a new ground to sow new seeds on, just like this Princess of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles, Princess, it's the same thing, right? There's new ground to grow on, death in reverse. But we need some internal purging from you. We need an internal transformation from you. To the King of Swords, an internal transformation where you say, all right, this all stops here today, right now. I am making a hard line decision that I'm going to go about doing things in a different way. I'm going to take a step back. I'm going to sit with my higher self. I'm going to sit in the hermit energy and do some deep soul searching and introspection so I can wrap my mind around the difference between what I want, what I'm trying to manifest in my life, and what universal order is trying to manifest into my life. Tell them what you want instead of grasping at straws to try to make it happen. Six of Wands. This leads you to an immense amount of success. Immense, immense amount of success in your life. To the King of Pentacles and Judgment. The judgment call of that King of Swords results in a rebirth of your life where you join forces with a complementary energy. The Queen of Pentacles, new opportunities, serious decisions, success, King of Pentacles, and judgment. Judgment. Serious, drop-dead serious decisions that result in a complete and total overhaul of everything. I cannot make this up. The Ten of Pentacles. This union with this person leads you to your tribe and the two of you create an immense amount of success together. An immense amount of success together. Look, Five of Swords in reverse, but you got to let go of this win at all cost mentality. The moon. And stop struggling. The moon is the Achilles heel of every single human being. If we could all just conquer the moon card, life would be so much better. The moon is the struggle between that which you know to be true on the inside of yourself and that which you don't necessarily want to accept as the truth. Mm -hmm. You don't want to accept as the truth that your idea of the way that things should be is failure. You don't want to accept the truth that there is something bigger and better than your way trying to guide you. It's not what you think your life should look like, therefore it's wrong. And that is that is the recipe for the tower. Ace of Swords. Aha moments. Have some clarity. See the truth of the situation. Bring your mind into focus. King of Wands. King of Wands, Queen of Wands, King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. So you can have success. Eyes on the prize, success. How you get that? The magician. The manifestation of your own reality according to universal order. Tell me about the alchemist, please. 
Yeah, look. The manifestation of universal order in your life comes from the Four of Cups, contemplation and reevaluation. This is the Taurus, focused on these three cups right here. Arms crossed, right? Refusing to accept anything. I got this. This is the way I want it. This is the way it needs to be. This is how I see my success. And the fourth cup is being offered to you by the hand of God. And it says, no, you don't got this. Take the information that we're trying to give to you. Bring stability to your emotional processes so you can manifest. Remember, manifestation is having control over all four elements that make up the human nature. The mind, the emotions, the desires, and the sense of well-being. Controlling all of that. Bringing it all heart center and focusing on those chocolate chips. This is a Taurus that's like, meh, I got this. And the universe is saying, no, you don't got this. You don't got this. The Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Nine of Pentacles in reverse is a waste of time. Remember the Nine of Pentacles down here was talking to you about your independence, self-sufficiency. I don't need any help. I don't need anybody. This is how I'm going to do it. And this is the way that it's going to get done. And there is no if, ands, or buts about it. The Nine of Pentacles in reverse says, this is a waste of your time. What you are investing in all on your own by yourself keeps turning into a tower over and over and over again. You will never recoup what it is that you are investing in this situation. And it just crumble and crumbles and crumbles and crumbles. Six of Pentacles. You need help. There is a person, a tribe, a place that contains everything that you need to be successful. The Six of Pentacles in this particular picture, in this particular Rider weight deck, is about someone doing something nice for someone else. There is a tribe that you will be directed to, and they are going to help you. They're going to be charitable to you. They're going to guide you. They're going to show you. But we got a Taurus here that's like, oh, hell no. I don't want no help. I got this. I got this by myself. No, you don't, Taurus. No, you don't. If you truly want the kind of success that you envision yourself having, you will heed the warning of the universe and take into consideration the journey of the fool. Ten of Cups on the bottom of the deck. An immense amount of emotional fulfillment. An immense amount of emotional fulfillment. To the High Priestess in Reverse. High Priestess in Reverse is talking all about not listening to your higher self. Ignoring your higher self and doing it your way. Six of Cups is about your soul path. It's about your repeated attempts, lifetime after lifetime, to ascend. And you're not ascending because you're not recognizing the soul aspect of your life. To the Three of Wands, have some foresight, just like this Three of Wands. This is the instruction manual for you to prepare for what it is universal order wants to bring into your life. The Ten of Pentacles, twice in this reading. The Ten of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles. Your future, should you so choose to surrender, is amazing. It's filled with success. The Eight of Pentacles, the, Ten of, the Eight of Pentacles twice, the Ten of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles. Your future is filled with success, but it involves your hyper-independence dissolving and opening up your chest to receive the help that the universe is trying to bring you. Ten of Wands in reverse, carrying the burden all by yourself. The fool in reverse is foolishness. It's not your path. It's not your purpose. There's a better way. There's a bigger way. There's a better way. It's foolishness. Ten of Swords for you to have a defeatist mentality. I can't get ahead in this life. 
can't can't gain traction can't gain momentum everything is stacked against me the deck is stacked against me it just no matter what i do it just keeps failing and failing and failing well you ain't doing it right you ain't doing it right two of pentacles balance and prioritize this balance out and prioritize what we are telling you here Last card in this spread to the Five of Wands in reverse. This is the avoidance of responsibility and also an increased focus on goals. Stop avoiding the responsibility of, you, of, of acknowledging your soul's understanding of things and point your mind towards incorporating your human experience with your soul's guidance so it can lead you, guide you, and show you the very best life that you could ever possibly have in this particular journey of your soul. Interesting. This particular Taurus has a beautiful future. They just have to stop trying to drive the ponies themselves. They need help. The universe is ready, willing, and able to help. But you have to be ready, willing, and able to cooperate with universal order. There you go. I hope that helps someone. Namaste. You are a soul having a human experience, not a human having a soul experience. You are a beautiful thread in the tapestry of universal order. You are ancient and never-ending. You have a purpose, this life experience has meaning, and you are important. Your journey on this planet, in this lifetime, is not by accident. You are exactly where you need to be right now. Walk with me through the antiquated concepts of spiritual ascension with a step-by-step -step guidebook to help you find your higher self and mesh your consciousness with your soul's guidance to live with intention and purpose. This book is gender neutral, religion neutral, and judgment free. It is a safe place to explore and expand your desire for growth and understanding. There is no agenda here. There is nothing that you should or should not be. Just straight talk that will challenge everything you think you know about this thing called life.